Well, good afternoon, you guys. This is Tracy coming back to you with another video. Thank you so much for clicking on today. If this is your first time or if you've been watching and haven't yet done it, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell twice to be notified and reminded when I upload another video. Share, like, and comment. You guys know I love comments. I like to interact with you guys. And as you guys know, not only do I do story time and talking vlogs and inspirational words and try to build you up. I also do cooking. I do cooking cooking shows. I love my cooking videos. So today, what I am making is a chicken pot pie, a homemade, affordable chicken pot pie. What you're going to need is I cut up two large potatoes and diced it. Um, while I'm cooking, my preparing my meat, I'm going to put this on the stove to boil. In the meantime, before I do that, I have cut up and shredded one whole chicken, rotisserie chicken. Okay, rotisserie chicken already deboned and cut up. You will need frozen mixed vegetables. Okay, and you will need... Two cans of cream of chicken soup and one can of cream of mushroom soup. Cream of mushroom and cream of chicken. Two of these and one of these. Okay? You also need one chicken broth. Okay, we're going to use the whole, this whole box here, okay? And one whole onion cut up. Okay, one whole onion cut up. Okay? All right, so let's get started. What we're going to first do right now, we turn on my stove to a medium high. I'm going to use a little olive oil. And what I'm doing right now is preparing the onions. Now, the onions is optional. I love onions. This recipe does not require onions, okay? But if you're an onion person like me, um, go ahead and try those onions. Let me go ahead and put these onions in here. This is one whole onion. Now, if you do use onions, you want to finely cut these up, okay? You want to cut these up really fine, okay? Really fine. And let that cook. Let that get really soft. What I'm going to do now is put my my um, potatoes on. Okay? One moment. All right, you guys. Welcome back. My onions are cooking the way I want them to cook. Now I have preheated my oven to 350. You will need one to two, depending on how many you want to make. I'm making one. A deep dish pie pan pie crust you can get them pre-made at walmart or, or any of any you know any place where you go to, you know your local grocery store okay a deep dish okay and preheat your oven you're also going to need heavy whipping cream or you can use half and half i'm going to use half and half today i don't want all that i don't want mine to be too uh well, it doesn't really matter. It's the same thing. Heavy whipping cream or half and half. Whatever you can get. Either one is good. I don't want mine too thick. Because I want my consistency to be just right. When you bite into it, I want all that meat and, and them vegetables just to come on out. Come on out the shell. So I don't want mine too thick. Just make sure the onions are... Translucent. Now I'm going to put a little bit of sea salt on my onions. I want my onions to have a little bit of flavor. This particular dish, you don't want to over season it because the condensed soup is, is salty. Okay? It's salty. It tends to be a little salty. So you don't need a lot of, a lot of salt with this dish. Okay? Depending on your taste. Okay? And it's almost where I want it to be. Keep cooking that. Looks pretty good. Oh, yeah. 
So now what I'm going to do, the next process, I'm going to add in my shredded chicken. Okay. Got a little skin in there, but that's okay. I got my rotisserie chicken from Walmart. I got the, the regular seasoned one. Not the, I didn't get the barbecue or the, you don't want that one. You just, I just got the traditional rotisserie chicken. I got my potatoes on boiling on the eye neck right here. We'll put potatoes in it. I like mine to be hearty. So let this cook just a little bit. We want to get it warm. Kind of brown. Just a little bit. Not too much. We don't want to burn it. And the rotisserie chicken, the reason why I chose that because it has already, it's seasoned already. Okay. Now as far as the vegetables, I encourage you, I please use frozen vegetables. Do not use canned vegetables, okay? That would mess up this dish. You want it to be frozen. My pie crust is still in the freezer. You want to keep everything frozen until you get ready to use it. Let that simmer just a little bit. And then we're going to start the next process, okay? Okay, you guys, welcome back. My chicken has only been cooking for about three minutes. It's time for the next process. I'm going to start putting in my my condensed chicken cream of chicken soup, okay? Condensed cream of chicken soup. And you want to make sure you get all of it out. All of it. Scrape it. Scrape it, y'all. You know, one thing I like about this dish, number two, one thing I like about this dish, if you have, after Thanksgiving and you have leftover turkey, y'all, y'all can make this, you can make a, a turkey pot pie, okay? Cream of mushroom soup, one can. All right. Oh, yes. Baby! Give that a nice stir. What we're going to add in next is our... Let me get a nice stir on this. My potatoes are boiling really good. You want to keep this down low because I want to get my potatoes done. Don't want to overcook this too much. Look how creamy that is. Okay, I may not need the chicken broth. Okay, the chicken broth is, is optional. But you may not need it because you want it kind of thick and a little hearty. We're going to use the milk the half and half or the heavy whipping cream to give it a little bit more looseness. Plus, the frozen vegetables is gonna are gonna thaw out in here as well. So let's open this up. You can use one big bag or two small ones. This is a small, okay? It's a small one. So we're gonna use two of these. Pour that in. And depending on how, how much you want, I'm making two of them. I decided to go ahead and make two. If you're making one small one, then you can use one small. And it depends on how much vegetables you want. I like vegetables, and I like mine to be hearty. So I choose to use two because I want a lot of vegetables and a lot of meat and potatoes and all that. So I'm using two. Okay, give that a nice stir. You want your fire low. I have a gas stove, so mine is on low. I don't know how to work here. If you have an electric stove, just make sure it's on low. Okay. It's really thick, so let's go ahead and add in. Or half and half. Now, here's the trick to this. You want to add just a little bit at a time. Because if you add too much, you can't take away. Okay, but if you add a little bit and it's not enough, you can add more. This is to your liking. So you pour it in slow, you guys. Remember that. 
Now I'm going to add some more pepper because I do like pepper. And if it's too thick, don't add water. Just add a little bit of chicken broth. I like mine like this. Oh, yes. Let this simmer. Make sure you get all that in there really good, you guys. You want to softly turn it. Softly. Because you don't want to break the chunks of chicken up too much. Just keep adding slowly, just a little bit of the whipping cream or your half and half. Add it slowly because you don't want to put too much in. You don't want it too runny. You kind of want to toss it. Fold it in. Fold it. Don't toss it, y'all. I didn't mean to say toss. Y'all have food flying everywhere. You want to slowly, gently fold it in. Let's let that simmer. And I will be back, y'all. All right, you guys. Welcome back. It is cooking really good. Now, I taste it a little bit. It's going to need... I'm going to put a little bit of seasoning all in it. Because it needs a little bit more seasoning. Just a little. And you guys do it to taste, okay? And I like seasoning all because it has a little bit of every seasoning in it. And I'm going to add a little bit more pepper. You do this to taste. Give it a nice fold. Turn my fire just a little bit higher. It was really low. Now my potatoes are done. They are soft. Again, I cut and peeled two whole potatoes. I cut them and diced them up. Peeled and diced. Put them in a the strainer. Fold that over. A nice fold because you don't want to overcook anything. Just, you don't want to smash up anything. So give it a nice fold. Ooh, yeah, that looks so good. It is smelling so good up in chill. Nice fold. Look at that. Nice fold. I This is the consistency that I like. So really, I only use a half. Yep, I use the half of this. Uh, only use half of this. And if you want more, if you want yours looser, that's totally up to you. I don't want mine looser. I want mine chunky. I want it loose, but not too loose. And I want chunkiness. I want chunkiness. Okay, now we're going to get ready for the next process. Now, before we do that, we have to let this sit and cool down. You don't want to put hot food in a frozen um pie shell because it will mess up your pie shell at the bottom so you want this to cool all the way down okay and then we're going to put it in the pie shell and I will show you that process give me a second here all right you guys welcome back this has been sitting for about 10 minutes okay so this is my deep dish pie pan deep dish pie pan pre-made everything just go to the your local grocery store and this is all you would need okay so let's start with the top putting this in here has a little steam but it's it's cooled down want to fill this all the way up don't be scared y'all this is deep dish and i have enough for two get all that goodness in here the potatoes, the chicken, the vegetables. Yes, baby. Woo, I cannot wait. All right. We got our first one filled, okay? 
fill to the top. You can be generous. All the way to the top. Shoot, I might better get a little bit more in. A little bit more. Yeah. A little bit more. See that? Okay, now. Next process. We are going to put the top on that, okay? What I am using is pie crust, ready-made pie crust. Ready-made pie crust. Ready-made pie crust, okay? Ready-made pie crust. Don't judge me, great value. Shoot, it is what it is, y'all. All right, so let's open this up. Now let me move this out the way so you guys can really see me really well. Let me get this positioned really good. Hold on for a second. Okay, I'm back. So, you want to gently open this. You don't need to do anything. Just gently open this up. And place it on top. Okay? We're going to make it look pretty in a minute. Let's get these edges around here. Cut these edges up. My hands are impeccably clean. You got to make sure your hands are clean, you guys, because a lot of these dishes you make, you have to use your hands, okay? So make sure your hands is, is to gavel. I'm just kind of folding it a little bit because I don't want it to burn in the oven because it's, you want to get it right on here, okay? You want to kind of fold it a little bit and, and, and get it right on the edge. Kind of fold it. It's a little bit because it's kind of long and you want to make it pretty. And I'm going to get me a fork and show you how to do that. But before we do that, kind of get this on here really good. Fold it at the bottom on the edges really well. You don't want it to seek out seep out okay cover that bottom shell that's on this pan take your time look I'm talking to myself now cuz uh your girl can't wait and then you want to kind of make it look pretty you want to you know do this to it Make it look pretty. Make it look pretty. Make sure it's in there. On there really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There we go. Do all around. Make it look pretty. It ain't going to be pretty when we cut into it, y'all. Now, I use two beaten yolks only. And I put just a little bit of ice cold water. You don't want the white. You just want the yolk, okay? I don't have a brush. We really want to put this on here nice. See that? Be real gentle with it. But put it all around. And I did two eggs because I have another one I'm going to do. Real nice. Coat it really good. Not too much, but coat it really good. All right. Now. Put a couple of slits in it, just a little, couple of slits. We're going to place this in the oven, your preheated oven, 350 degrees for about 45 minutes. 
And I will be back when it's done, and I'll tell you exactly how long it took. Okay? Put a couple little slits in it. Okay? I'm going to place this in the oven, and I'll be back. All right, that took exactly 45 minutes. Now, depending on how dark you want your your top layer to be, depends on how long you want to bake it. I didn't want mine too dark. It's done. It's still hot. You want to let it sit for a while before you cut into it. Look at that. That is beautiful. Look at that, you guys. I'm, I had enough to make two of them. There's the other one. Yeah, see that? Beautiful. 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 Now, you guys follow this recipe to the T. And if you follow it to the T, I'm telling you, you follow it to the T, you won't go wrong. You will not go wrong. There you have it. Pop pie, you guys. Now, you know what? Maybe I should cut a little, little piece for y'all. Go cut me a little, little piece. Well, I have a really big one. I'm going to cut this smaller one. Woo! That one is full. I, I packed that one in. This other one, I packed that one in. Yeah, I packed it in. So let's do this one. It's a little smaller. And I got my slit. Oh, God, that looks good, you guys. You have to try it. Oh, my God. You want to let it sit, though, because it's going to fall apart. If I try to take it out now, it's going to break, you guys. But let me just show you what it looks in the inside. See that? You open it up some. See that? Oh, that's so... Look at that, you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment this video. Don't forget to share it, you guys. Okay? Until the next video, peace.